I'm Colin Allred. I'm running for Congress in Texas's 32nd Congressional District. I'm Lillian Salerno, and I'm the Democratic candidate for the 32nd District in a runoff on May 22nd. Well, I think people know that I'm a local guy. I was born and raised here in this district. I grew up here in Dallas, and I'm a kid of uh, eight brothers and sisters, and was educated here only because the community invested in me. And I went to public schools here, uh, and I lived my version of the American dream here. I'm somebody who stood up to power my entire career. I uh, became an NFL player. I went to law school and became a civil rights attorney. I've started a couple of companies. I worked in the White House. I worked in the Department of Justice. And I served the last five years as part of the Obama administration. I was an appointee in the Obama administration. I'm a single mom that knows what it's like to have to send her daughter to school with a strep throat because she couldn't arrange to get uh, time off work. I was raised here by a single mom. I know what people are facing here. I understand what people in this district have to go through. It's not that it's going to be a cakewalk to beat Pete Sessions. He's a formidable opponent. We're never going to really outspend Pete Sessions. I think what we can do is have a lot more excitement. People want somebody who leads. And with me, they know that they're going to have a fighter. We're going to be out there on the doors. We're going to be growing the pie and getting more people involved. I think that's the way we win here in this district. I think that's the way we can win across Texas. We need different voices. We've had voices that haven't represented half the population from Texas. I think we need to do much better in every area to make sure that we have the diversity of our country and the diversity of our areas represented in our leaderships. We haven't elected a new woman to Congress for 22 years. We have three women out of a field of 38 that go to Congress to represent us. I will also be the first African American to represent this district if I'm elected. I think that also matters. If you're not at the meeting, you're gonna be on the menu. And women in Texas, that we just haven't had our, our fair shot. I think Pete Sessions in many ways has forgotten why he got into this. He doesn't represent the district. You know, he didn't hold town halls. He's been carrying water for a long time for special interests. He's a bag boy for Paul Ryan. I have a lot of policy issues with Pete Sessions, but my number one issue with him is the disconnection he has from this district. He's not willing to stand up against the payday lenders. He's not willing to stand up against fossil fuel companies. I think that's why he has to go. Well, there's not a, a whole lot of overlap between an NFL player and a member of Congress, but I know that in the NFL I worked with people from every single background. I certainly am a Dallas Cowboys uh, fan and I understand football because I am a Texan. And we had to be more interested in what was good for the team than we were in what was good for an individual person. And I think as a member of Congress I'll take that experience as a football player and as a teammate and as a captain of many of the teams that I've been on uh, and put it to use. And I think uh, my experience out outweighs uh, an NFL football player. Thank <laughs> you.